there is something malleable in memory. Individual components insignificant without the bigger structure to support them. Brick by brick, they build the wall that stops you in your tracks and sends you back to yesterday. This was why she went back to the house. Her mind's eye could no longer see past it. She was consumed by mists of unremembrance. It furled within enclosed spaces she knew to be rooms, but which she could no longer picture. Whiskey? It's never too early. Wouldn't you agree? Well, it's lovely to meet you. I must say your call came quite out of the blue. I don't have any family, you see, so it doesn't often ring. It gave me quite a shock, I can tell you. I always wondered if I'd ever see a family member return after the incident. Now my darkest wish has finally been granted. Now I get to interrogate an inside source and a daughter at that. I'm afraid I'll be somewhat of a disappointment to you. I was only a small child when it happened. I don't remember. I don't believe you. What makes you say that? I consider myself quite the scholar. These past 13 years, I've been furthering my studies using your father's library, chiefly in the fascinating science of memory. My particular interest lies in the innate human obsession with morbidity and death. It's a search for self-cure, I will admit. I myself suffer with a disturbing obsession with the obscene and horrific. Like you, I once witnessed a traumatic incident which I've never quite forgotten. Trauma itself is the purest human experience one could hope to taste. I believe you were drawn here because deep down you know something. Or rather, your subconscious does. And it's drawing you so the cue you need to remember. You really believe that? Yes, I do. Another. Mm. You can't deny that this place has brought back long forgotten memories. I can't deny it. No. But that doesn't mean I can remember. It'll come. All you need to do is wait. It doesn't work like that. Just listen. What is this place telling you? I can't hear anything. I, I don't know. You'll remember. The house will tell you everything. Tell me about this room. It hasn't changed much. It was my father's study. It was always the most formal room in the house where he worked. Go on. It was never his private room. We were always allowed in to see him, and uh, he w wanted us to take an interest, uh, encourage us to explore. 
I remember his desk was always a mess, although he would claim that it was abstractly organised. Uh, there was bits of paper and books and instruments for detecting and measuring. His handwriting was everywhere, all spidery and illegible, like a doctor's. Keep going. I remember how distinctive it was. Metallic with the brass and the ink and the musk of old leather chairs. This room has the best view of the garden. You can see it from here. See what? On the counter. I can still picture the headlines. The police cars on the drive. She was strangled, wasn't she? It wasn't long after that your mother died of grief, was it? Three months. Such a tragedy. Did you ever speak to your father about it? He never spoke about it. Not even the day he died. He blamed me. We were playing when it happened. I, I don't know what he expected me to do. I don't even remember it happening. I don't know what I did. People often underestimate children. On the other hand, they sometimes expect them to deal with events beyond their years. I thought you handled the situation very well. I hope you enjoyed the whiskey. I only serve it to special guests of mine. It has a fine flavour, don't you think? It was lovely. Thank you. Um, you've been very kind listening to me ramble on, but I think I should probably be going. I am so sorry. I've completely forgotten your name. Don't you remember me? I don't think you ever told me. I didn't think I had to. I thought the house would tell you. I'm afraid you'll have to remind me. I used to live in the cottage down the lane before I moved here. You were such a sweet girl as I remember. I don't mind admitting that I always preferred you to your sister. You were both very much alike, of course. I always knew you were the superior of the two. I'm really sorry, I don't remember ever meeting you. You were very young. How old were you both when she died? Seven. I used to covet this house. I used to see you and your sister playing on the lawn as I walked past. I came by afterwards to offer my condolences. You were being interviewed. They said you were too young to go in alone. I'll just put these back. Are you sure you don't remember me? 